In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the prompt template in LangChain framework. So, prompt template allows you to create and format prompts for natural language. Uh, it's a reproducible way to generate a prompt that contains instructions, examples, and definitely a question for the language model. It consists of two parts, the input variables and a text template. Now what is input variable and a text template? So input variables are placeholders that can be filled with different values by the user. For example, uh, if you want to create a prompt template for generating company names based on a product, you can use the product with parentheses as an input variable. A text template is a string that contains the instructions for the language model and optionally a few short examples. And text template uses the input variable as a part of the instruction. Let's understand the whole scenario with an example. I work as a naming consultant for new companies and my task is to produce names for the companies based on the product they make. Here are some examples. If the product is coffee, the name is going to be Briefster. If the product is shoes, the name is going to be Solomat. And finally, Vicar will be the company name if they are producing candles. So keeping this concept in mind, let's implement the same example in LangChain. Let's create here a new Python file and let's import prompt template. And let's create here our first template. So template are just like a formatted Python string. So we need to define a string and inside that string we need to define our input variables. So let me quickly write our prompt template. And now inside these parentheses, we need to define our input variable. So input variable in this case is going to be product so that we could fetch this product from the user. Now for a good prompt template, you need to have three features in your prompt. The first one is the clarity and specificity. So we have clearly told our language model that you need to act as a naming consultant. Then the relevancy and difficulty of the question is also very important. So we have defined our relevant question right here. But the third quality of a good prompt template is to use diverse examples in this prompt template. So let's give our language model some examples regarding this scenario. And now our prompt is completed. It's time to put this prompt in this prompt template class. So let's type here prompt template is equals to prompt template. What are our input variables? So the name of our input variable is product underscore name. Oops, let's remove it. So you need to make sure that you are this name and this name should match otherwise it's not going to work and then we need to define our text template which is going to be this whole template so let's type here template is equals to template simple now our prompt template is ready let's try it out so i'm going to first print our prompt template so print prompt template dot format Inside format, we need to define our input variables. So our input variable is, is equals to a product name. So let's go with a colorful socks. And let's check it out. Let's run it. Okay. So good. Product name has been replaced 
with colorful socks. Now it's time to pass this information to our language model. So let's import this information. Temperature is going to be 0 0.9. And instead of this, I'll say LLM. And I'm going to save the response in response variable. And finally, I'm going to print this response. And let's run it. <laughs> wow, we got our answer, but this is not what we were expecting. So we need to specifically tell what is our question and what are our examples. So our question is this part. So let's type here question and now I hope you are going to get result and yes we got it this time we got our name according to our colorful socks so I hope you have understood how this prompt templates help us in instructing the model what to do and how to do and in the next lecture we are going to cover another important concept and I'll see you there bye bye